Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. So what makes people happier in the Philippines than it does in the West? Well, I'll take you from the UK, all right? Um, first one is this whole feminism, pro-gay, everything else in the UK doesn't exist in the Philippines. Nobody cares. Um, I don't find people anti-gay or anti-anything else. In the Philippines, I find people just don't care. You're not interested. It's not a debate. In the UK, they've got to be in your face with it. You know, Today, they were talking about there's not enough gay players in the football, uh, in football and stuff. And I'm like, what? What are you asking me? You know, What do we need gays in the football for? They're not there to be gay. They're there to play football. It doesn't matter. Um, and the fact is... I can't, I can't understand what the obsession is. It doesn't affect the performance of playing football. The whole fact that they have to push it um, to try and introduce uh, very pro-gay players, etc. Um, I don't get it. I mean, I don't push masculine ballet dancers or something. I, I'm People are people. Just leave everybody alone. In the UK, it's an obsession. Um... Same with the US, it's the US and UK to be honest doing this. Every TV show has got to have a gay, it's got to have possibly a transgender, and it's got to have a strong female character if that is either bisexual or um, mothering or it's what is going on? I'm not being funny here, right? Feminism complains that all the top jobs are taken by men. Yet, in the TV world, they're all taken by women. So, make your mind up. I'm not going to make a sexist joke about that. Uh, but maybe Billy Connolly could. Billy Connolly mentioned this a while back about the, the joke about the women. And they want a bit of this, a bit of that, none of that. Da, da, da. That's equality. <laughs> Um, I found it quite amusing, but it is quite right. They're too selective. Um, and I don't know if it's even driven by women. Because a lot of the PC brigade must sit there all day thinking of things to whine about. But in the Philippines, it doesn't exist. Feminism. I haven't met a feminist. I haven't met anybody who mentioned feminism in the Philippines. What I have met is a lot of women that are laid back. I've seen the women that um, do the parachuting and stuff with the guys. Um, they're as fit and as strong as the guys. Um, they don't lower the standards for the women. But because of the, the body build of the Filipinos, um, the women are pretty, pretty good. They're pretty fit. Um, they carry their own weight. And if you go up into the provinces and stuff, you can see they can literally carry their own weight and they'll work hard. Um, for me, that's more important than going, oh, we should have more this or more that. Why don't you just recognize women for who they are, people? Because um, this is where the West is going all off, all off tangent. You go into a working environment, women are generally angry and argumentative and stuff. I don't know what's going on. I really don't, because I don't like working in offices, I'll be honest with you. I'm more of a hands-on guy, I'll, engineering wise, don't mind working in, on equipment and stuff. I do not like sitting with a load of women in an office. Um, and not because I don't like women, but they're always arguing about somebody. Um, they're too critical on stuff that's irrelevant. Um, and it's not, not be me being sexist it's my general observations um, being sexist would say that all women are this or that I'm just saying from observations that a lot of the arguing goes on because some people have too much time on their hands but also I think there's a lot of insecurities but also the media drives the fact that women should be performing etc etc so there's like insecurities and also I don't know what goes on I mean, myself, I'm not happy with work, so I quit. Um, now, 
when I say quit, it's not like I quit, quit. It's more a case of I'm moving on to better things. Um, it's not where I want to be in life. Um, although I work for corporations, I don't want to work for a corporation. Um, I prefer external. It removes all the politics. But the whole point with the Philippines is all this office politics and stuff isn't in your life. It doesn't exist. Um, people are happy in the Philippines because they're short term. People think of today and not tomorrow. So generally upbeat because tomorrow they may have no money left. But today they're not worried about it. Tomorrow they'll just, you'll hear a lot of religious phrases and stuff used a lot, you know, they'll, the God will provide, blah, blah, blah. No issue with it because it's what keeps, keeps people going. Um, I do think people would benefit from uh, better money management, but at the same time, it's up to them. So that's why a lot of people are generally happy. But also, they've got the very important thing that we miss too much in the West. Family foundations. Everybody goes back to the family home at the end of the working day, unless they're working on other islands. Um, they spend a lot of time with family. There's always fiestas, there's weddings, funerals, uh, all these events going on all the time that keeps the family bond strong. Um, in the West, I don't think people make enough time for each other. Um, not really their fault, or is it? I think it would be more the fault of equal rights going back a few years, especially in the UK, um, because they were driving for women should have the same rights of working, etc., etc. Because before you had the, the wife would be at home, the husband would be the worker, and that's how it functioned. But now the UK has both people at work. Um, so you ended up, end up with a splintered family. So when there's a family event coming up, um, generally people don't bother. Don't have the time. Why? Because when you get home from night, uh, at night, um, so does your partner. So you've still got to cook the dinner, do the washing, help the kids with the homework, um, all the stuff that may have been done before you got home before. Um, which would mean instead of getting home about half past five and settling down to spend time with the family, uh, you get home and go through all those chores and by the time you finish, the kids are ready for bed. So that society has destroyed itself. Um, Philippines still has it. Grandparents having the kids, very normal. Uh, I would struggle to get my mother to look after the kids if I asked her. <laughs> um, that's just the way things have changed so much. And it's all for the negative. It all really is. The Philippines still grasps it all. That's why I like Spain a lot. Spain still got some of these uh, connections. But also, even with the families not there, they've got a sense of community. Where we live in, uh, in Spain, Although it's a fairly um, tourist type location, we have tight, um, tight relations with the people around us. We're, you know, it's not, it ain't my problem, which you get in the West a lot. Everyone looks after everybody. You know, this, I remember uh, Zoe had to go for um, a meeting for, for school but she had to go, that's about 80 miles away. Um, my neighbor took Zoe and my wife without any problem. And I said, look, what do I owe you for the day? Wouldn't even take fuel money, never mind me trying to pay him to do it. Because that's the way people are. That's the way I'm used to being. Um, I come from an ex-military family. We don't function like civilians do. Um, we work as a group. We work as a unit. Um, I find civilian life very sad in many ways. I don't think people bond as well as they should do. And it's why I'm happier in other countries. Um, because I don't think people have it anymore. 
Philippines does. And I, I find that the way people treat each other in the Philippines, you know, like even if you're a Western or an outsider, it's, it's not an issue. But in the UK, the amount of racism in the UK, um, it's everywhere. You, you know, even the media is in your face with it. And I, I do write some cynical stuff uh, sometimes just for amusement. Um, because I do find some people's understanding of how things happen and occur, etc. just don't exist. Because what they do is they just see that. That's what the media told them. There is no cause and effect in there whatsoever. Uh, and that's amusing for me, but it's also the sign of the times that the sad state the world's got into. Um, where people just believe what the governments are telling us and one thing, yet you'll hear them talk about their pensions and stuff and go, well, yeah, well, I'm not happy about that. Or the expenses scandals, for example, you'll actually get people's opinion on that because they're angry about that. But people forget when they take, you get the expenses scandals or other stuff the politicians have been up to, they pull out the immigrant. Immigration's a problem. Okay, I forgot what you were saying five minutes ago. And that's why they do all this stuff. But anyway, happiness in the Philippines comes from all this stuff being moved. It's nothing to do with you. The family connections, the family connections in the, in the West, I don't think are as tight as they are in Asia. But also, if you've got problems with your family, they don't exist in the Philippines because you ain't there. Um, I know a lot of guys that have benefited from uh, being away from their ex-partners um, because the ex-partners had too much control over them while they were in the West. Doesn't mean that it's all downside because what happens is the guys actually had a better relationship after they created that distance. Um, while they're in the West, what happens is you hear the lawyers, the government, everything. You have a right, you have a right to your ex's wallet. You've got a right to your ex's house, car, kids, everything. Uh, but once you're up and gone, they're like, okay, I've got everything, but everything stops now because he's gone. He's not gonna give me money anymore because I took everything. And they said like, just take it, I'm gone. Because when that happens, they don't know what to do. They've got everything. But then they're going, hang on a minute, you've left me with the kids now. Um, yeah, but you wanted them. No, I wanted the money for them. It's a different thing. <laughs> um, yeah. Philippines doesn't have it. What it does have is sunshine, no drama, politics, and nonsense. It has a country that can be explored easily. It's got a country where people like to meet you. It's got a country where people want to show you around, introduce you to other people. It has a country where they actually like foreigners. Um, the other way around, in the UK right now, everybody complains about immigrants. Yeah, here we are talking about Brits going, Brits or anywhere else going to the Philippines and treated almost like royalty in some ways. Um, it just shows you, it puts everything in context. The Philippines is an amazing place. Um, I love it there. Um, I love it in, the Spain, in Spain at the moment as well. I can see me being long term in Spain. Um, I've still got to sit and work out how I'm going to develop stuff in Spain. It's a bit more complex than the Philippines because uh, my Spanish is still miles off. Um, so it's gonna take me another year to actually get something that I can rely on in the Spanish environment that is purely Spanish. I mean, helping tourists and stuff is easy enough, but the good stuff involves speaking Spanish. Anyway, just be aware the Philippines opens up so many options to you removes all the stuff that sucks the life out of people in the West. It gives you the opportunity to think, plan, look ahead, 
remove distractions and focus on getting a better life. Thanks for watching.